Hi, my name is Josh White, and this is a little bit of extra credit. So I'm a high school teacher with a YouTube channel, and that means that sometimes I need to spend more time and devote more time to teaching, and it's more important to me than getting car videos out for my viewers. But today I have something that I think you'll enjoy. Today we're going to draw storyboards from the Avengers. Specifically, we're gonna take the scene where Bruce Banner tells Steve Rogers, I'm always angry. Why are we doing this? Well, my students have to draw a storyboard for the final project, and this was a fun way for me to teach how to draw storyboards, how to draw meaning, how much to draw on a storyboard, and then how to animate them. Why are we using PowerPoint and Movie Maker when there are so many other applications out there, so many other programs that are so much better? Well, it's because it's all my students have. So first off, let's look at a scene from the Avengers. And done. Um, I can't put in that whole scene without copyright people breathing down my neck. What did you expect? From the viewing, I got seven shot changes with seven scene durations. That Hulk transformation is really two scenes in my book, so we'll call it eight scenes in total that I'll have to draw. After watching, I get the basic time intervals of 4.5, 3.5, 2.4, 3.4, 1.5 plus 1.5, that's the Hulk transformation scene, 1 second, and then 4.7 seconds. So all those added up, that will be the entirety of the scene. I already took audio from it, so all I'll need to do is put the storyboard over that audio, and then it'll be good to go. When I'm drawing, we're gonna do some gesture drawing, so not a whole lot, it's not gonna be super impressive, and storyboards aren't supposed to be. And in a second, other Josh is going to walk through how he drew what he drew, and then putting it into Movie Maker for level one of storyboarding over audio. Then other, other Josh is going to walk through the animation process in PowerPoint to make things look a little bit more crisp to complete level two. Not expert, because this is high school, but something that's going to look pretty sweet. Now let's do it! So we're drawing a background scene here of New York. We'll have Bruce Banner pop up. And right now, I want to show that he's pointing in that direction, that he's headed in that direction. And then that's our Leviathan that's coming toward us. Need a shot of Captain America. Not a close up per se. Still want to get the bust of it as well. We can put in some dialogue as well if we wanted to. This is where Banner turns around and says, That's my secret camp. But then we split up both shots. That's my secret cap. I'm always angry. We need the two shots, so we need his head to rotate, so we put in an arrow there. Our Leviathan is coming towards us a little bit more, so I'm going to increase that as well. This is Banner in a close-up saying, I'm always angry. I'm going to add a Leviathan fin just a little bit closer, just so we can continue to see that he's creeping in. This is our transformation scene. So this is cut into two different storyboards. In the previous shot, you can see a thumbnail in my PowerPoint. I have the head rotating, just that's what that arrow is. And then the Hulk is gonna punch him, so the arrow's attached to that. This is the superhero pose for my Hulk. See in the back side of him, some dust clouds, the little eye thin, give him some eyes. And then we have our final punch, leading into our Leviathan keeling over and dying. In the Leviathan's head I showed a little bit of impact, and I have a background of New York as well. This one I am copying into three separate ones because I want to animate this one later. Now I'm saving it all. 
had some issues exporting them all at one time, but then I can plot them in and get my times in there that I took from the original viewing. I have the growth of Banner into the Hulk, so I'm going to add the growth there. Then I also want to add the movement after the, Le the Leviathan impacts Hulk's fist. So let's take a look. Dr. Banner, now might be a really good time for you to get angry. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always angry. This is going to be a little bit longer section just because I think animation takes a little bit longer for us newbies. This is going to go through every, not every, animation choice that I put into this system. So let's play. First I'm going to add in all of the times that I got from the Avengers clip just like I put into Movie Maker. It's just after every slide duration I want to change slides. I first started out putting in the, the Hulk transformation as a slide of three, but I feel like I, I couldn't really do that. Um, I was gonna fade the old one out, put the new one in in the same background, but I changed my mind back there, so one and a half seconds to one and a half seconds for the Hulk transformation. Now in this animation, I want my Hulk to move back. So Hulk is moving back while the Leviathan is still going forward because of momentum, that's how physics works. All of my movement animation blocks are not gonna have smooth starts and ends because I hate that. Um, and then we also want the Leviathan to spin. So the tail is going to come up over as our head stops. That's also how momentum works. So I'm going to put a spin in there as well. I changed how it acted so that it's not spinning all the time. I want to animate the growth. And as he's growing, his head is sort of moving as well. So I'm going to add a growth and a movement. Then I also want the Hulk's fist because that fist popping up is also going to symbolize that he's turning into the Hulk. So we'll add that in there. We'll have the move. And later on, I'm going to add a spin to the fist just so it's not, you know, meandering up to punch the Leviathan, but it's in more of a punching position. I'm gonna do a little hiccup right there. I, I could have just copied and pasted the other fist over, couldn't I? I mean. Now with these drawings, you need to be careful of, of how much is still there and how much is being erased. I had a dot. I had a dot left over. In this one I'm going to... I want the head turn, and so I'm going to isolate the back of the head in slide 1 and the front of the head in slide 3 and keep the rest of it all the same, and then just add that turn on my own. Um, so I'll have the back of the head and I'll have the front of the head. That way it can just pop over. I'm sizing the new head so that they're about the same size. That way it's not as jarring when I animate it. That one's going to disappear just as the other one appears.
In this one, I am animating Banner to move forward towards the Leviathan. And he's going to shrink as well, this foreshortening, that's um, a perspective thing. So he's going to move towards the Leviathan and he's going to get smaller. Um, I'm going to also later add the, the Leviathan coming closer and moving towards him so they kind of meet. Not really, but that's the intention. So Banner's going to move towards the Leviathan. Steve Rogers is going to stop and say, hey, hold on, now's a good time for you to be angry. Right here I'm just playing with sizing and motion paths. This one's just for fun. I'm going to open the mouth when he needs to tell him to get angry. That was a quick version, right at that end of the entire animation. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to do a little bit of polishing. I'm going to have the Leviathans come closer. I'm going to add some some text stuff in there, and just overall sort of clean things clean things up. Slide seven is needs a little bit more animation to it, just to make it more jarring. So let's see how it turned out. Doctor Banner. Now might be a really good time for you to get angry. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always angry. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. At least half of my students thought it was pretty cool. Their final project is to make a storyboard video for a band that actually hails from this high school that I work at called The Gazing Eyes. They're legitimately a great band and you should definitely check them out. I highly encourage it. If you like this, then hit the like button. If you want to see more of my better bits of my educational content, then I've created a playlist called Extra Credit. You can check it out. Feel free to leave a comment because I obviously want to get better at what I'm doing. A new Picture Cars video is on the way at the end of this month, and a Ford Pro video is coming out soon. So subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Am I doing this right? Anyway, thanks. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.